Facilitating Sustainability Engagement, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 143. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is G. Siebel. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 143, December 20th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, creations, everything that we're working on, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 50% of the written content for the sustainability lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. The written part of this lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of sustainability is now 100% complete on site. We also completed the first third of the mind map for the sustainability lesson plan, which you can see here. We also added the theme icons from the mind map to the lesson plan page. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first third of the community lesson plan, bringing that behind the scenes written part to approximately 30% complete. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed another 10% on the organization of the streamlined version of our food self-sufficiency transition plan page, which includes contributions provided by naturopathic Dr. Matt Materano, creator of the coherent model for comprehensive digestive health. This week, we organized more recipes on breakout pages, and we'd say the food transition page organization is now 70% complete behind the scenes. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan. These recipes are spinach cheese toast, Thanksgiving shells, and tomato soup with cornbread stuffing. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team working on highest good housing put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revisions for the footer foundation and flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week's focus was on stucco netting details and updates, and we'd say this brings us to 57% complete with this total rewrite and update. We also added images from the presentation the intern team created for the Treehouse Village Pod 7. You can see these images here. This includes the considerations and rationale for the service design, interior, exterior design, and structural design choices the interns made. 
Vlado Kavar, a Revit BIM manager, also started converting the AutoCAD and SketchUp files for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 into Revit, as you can see here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added 3D outdoor natural pool details to our continued development of the Duplicable City Center 3D specifics. This included more plants, walkover bridge details, people, and other aesthetic specifics. We also added additional social dome internal details, showing a band playing next to the natural pool, and some final touches to the internal aspects of the natural pool. With these additions, we'd say we're now 90% complete with the total 3D update. Iris Sue, industrial designer, began sketching the pipe couch designs for Duplicable City Center Library as well. The drawings you see here are her initial design ideas. Jarvis Zhao and Michelle Wu, both industrial designers, also continued with version 2 of the designs for the pipe shelving for the library. What you see here are Michelle's 2D layout proposals, and here are a series of Jarvis's shelving layout proposals. James Nance, mechanical engineer and project manager, also began redesigning the plumbing for the Duplicable City Center. You can see his work in progress here. And behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and Lucas Tetsui De Silva, fourth-year computer engineering student, continued work on the control systems design. Here's revision number seven for this, and here are a few pictures of Mike explaining to Lucas and myself how the breadboard soldering will work to build the prototype for testing before manufacturing. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team finished updating the highest good network page with Andrew Herman, software engineer and core member of Futures Playground. The updated page shares the details of the open source software we're creating together for complete teacher demonstration hub management, data gathering, open source collaboration, and more. This week's finishing work finished outlining our software development details leading to where we are now, adding details about what has already been developed, and links to our Google Docs in progress detailing the work we are doing behind the scenes with multiple options for collaboration. We also continued working with Ivan Manzarov, artist and illustrator, to create new icons for all our pages. Here are the icons Ivan created for the Highest Good Society, Highest Good Food Pages, and the Highest Good Housing Pages. In addition to this, Lisa Ramos, graphic designer, completed all these logo variations for exploring possible font alternatives for our horizontal logo. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a Highest Good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community is facilitating sustainability engagement, making it easier to participate through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Our idea is if we can demonstrate sustainable living as easy enough, affordable enough, and make it attractive enough, then the idea of sustainable living will spread on its own. And our way of doing this is through the open source tools, tutorials, and resources, but more specifically, by combining everything that it is that we're doing into a living model that people can experience, and then open sourcing that. And this living model is designed to be a, an evolution of sustainability that combines the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, uh, sustainable food, sustainable housing, sustainable energy, with the emotional aspects of sustainability that we've identified as high school education, high school economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that will facilitate sustainability engagement because the way of living, the experience of living, is designed specifically to be something that people would prefer over the way that they're living right now. Our model is designed to invite people to participate, and the more people that participate, the more successful the model is. The more we help this idea and others who like the idea get involved and spread it around the world, the more successful we all are. The idea is to build a culture 
of cooperation and collaboration and hopefully usher in a new age, a new golden age of sustainability and abundance and prosperity and peace and happiness for humanity founded on sustainable living. Founded on sustainable living that provides a, an experience of life that has more time to do the things that people love to do. It provides more things to do. It's more affordable and generally just more enjoyable. So we're bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, the people that believe that this is possible and want to participate, that want to help to create this world, that believe that we are the change that we've been waiting for and that we're capable of creating this and now is the time to create this. We're bringing together those people to develop one community and to ultimately build it as a physical location that people can come and experience. If they like what they see, they can take everything for free and go and develop it. We will help to create these teacher demonstration hubs all over the world. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, we invite you to join us. We invite you to get involved. Our organization is an all-volunteer, unpaid organization working together to create this because we want to live this way. But a lot of people just want to see it happen. And so there's lots of ways to participate, ranging from volunteers and collaborators to the actual pioneer team that will move onto the property and physically build one community that will host the initial people that come onto the ground, help to build the whole thing, and then start inviting people to come from the outside to visit and experience the way of life, to experience the sustainable living, the sustainable structures, the sustainable food, to see the sustainable energy infrastructure. And if they enjoy what they see, if they like to live that way and duplicate it for themselves, to help to facilitate that process around the world. Taking this idea and building it and bringing the resources to places that need it most replicating it and developing additional iterations and helping others to open source their tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints as well so that we can expand the global suite of options, the selection of options available, facilitating sustainability engagement by creating a whole bunch of different versions of what it is that we're doing so people can pick and choose what they like and have the foundations necessary to develop new versions as well and then sharing those. This is our idea of world change, and this is how we're doing it. Foundation of open source creation, building a better way of living, and helping others to experience that as well, working together as a global cooperative to improve life for everybody on this planet. Now, the easiest way to support us and help us is through sharing our information through social, through social media. We're on all the different social media networks. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Sue. We're on Tumblr. We're on Reddit. We're on Pinterest. Have about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for get the information for people to get the information in the way that works best for them. But we need help to get the word out. The more people that share our information, the more it gets into the hands of others, and the faster we can accelerate this facilitation process and get people involved to the level that we reach that tipping point of actually improving life on this planet for everybody. That level of participation of people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that want to see this better world and are accessing the information, helping to build it, helping each other to develop it, and accelerating the entire process. The more our information gets shared, the faster that will happen. Our goal is to remove all the barriers to that, but we need help to make that happen. Of course, also we're seeking large-scale funding. So if you are somebody with the resources or somebody who knows somebody, possibly somebody, with the resources to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in one community, our all-volunteer staff, our nonprofit, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. And so we're looking for that large-scale funding to purchase the property that we've already identified where we will build one community where we start hosting hundreds and then thousands and then tens of thousands of people each year to come and experience what it is that we're doing. But most importantly, so we can share that location, so that we can build our current team even faster, so we make all this happen. We take our our open source creative process and exponentially increase that by building our team, by disclosing the location, by sharing why this location is perfect for launching global transformation the way that we're doing it. And so we're looking for that large scale funder. If you or somebody you know might have the resources, we'd love to speak with you. Of course, we also like to say thank you for all the small donations. Operating a global organization like ours, even though it's all volunteers, still has a sizable, unpaid volunteers, still has a sizable expense attached to it. Just maintaining our website and all the other things that are necessary to maintain a nonprofit organization. So the small donations, the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $15, $20 donations, those occasional $100 donations really make a massive difference in making it so that our volunteers don't have to pay for those things too much out of our own pocket. 
global transformation that positively impacts the lives of every single person will happen the moment we reach that tipping point of participation and engagement so that the idea spreads on its own. That's when it will happen. We believe this is possible and we're bringing the others together that believe it's possible too. We're building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism to create a better world for everybody and we're simultaneously addressing what we see as all of the foundations of our most challenging issues of today and for generations to come because we see them as not only interrelated but as interdependent. And we see the only true solution as, as looking at it as a comprehensive challenge and saying how can we truly, truly, truly meet the needs of every living person on this planet? How can we create a model that is capable of positively impacting the lives of every single person on this planet? And this is what we've come up with. And we realize that the only way we're going to impact the lives of every single person is if we can create it as a self-replicating model. And the designs that we've come up with are designed to be exactly that. Self-replicating models and evolution of sustainability that combines the physical sustainability with the emotional sustainability to create a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. And therefore, more and more and more people want to participate to help spread this idea across the planet, take the resources where they're needed most. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. We invite you to participate. We thank you for following our progress. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. If you'd like more details and specifics, you can visit our written blog and our website. And of course, until next week, I say thank you, and we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.